In this video, I'll show you how to run a one sample test for proportion in Stata. This test is appropriate when you have a single dichotomous variable, coded 0 and 1, and you want to assess whether the proportion of cases with a value of 1 is significantly different from a hypothesized proportion. By way of example, let's consider the following variable, church. It's a dichotomous variable, where 0 indicates that they do not belong to a church, and 1 indicates that they are a church member. Note that this is a variable about church membership, not about whether a person is religious or affiliated. I've also codebooked a variable called gender with two categories, male and female. I'll be using that variable later on in the analysis. Now, given that this is a sample drawn from the U.S. adult population, I might want to know whether the proportion of people who are church members in the U.S. is significantly different from some hypothesized proportion. Given that the U.S. is considered a highly religious country, let's say that we set a benchmark of 66%, or two-thirds of the adult population. That, in essence, becomes our null hypothesis. We'll run a one-sample proportion test to determine whether we can reject that hypothesis and say that the proportion is not 66%, but rather lower or higher than that. To run the test, simply go to Statistics, Summary Tables and Tests, Classical Tests of Hypotheses, One-Sample Proportion Test. In the variable window, we simply insert our church variable. And in the hypothesized proportion, we insert our proportion. We're going with 0.66 or two-thirds. Let's go ahead and hit Submit. Now first we see the actual command for the one sample proportion test. It's a pretty simple command, PR test church equals equals 0.66. In the results we see a column for mean, which is the percentage or proportion of people who are coded as one or church members. We see that's 55%. We also have a Z statistic, negative 14.96, and the question becomes, can we be confident in rejecting our null hypothesis that the proportion is 0.66 in our population? Consulting our p-values, we see a p-value of 0.000 for our two-tailed test that the proportion is not 0.66, so we can be confident in rejecting the null hypothesis. If one had hypothesized that the proportion would be less than 0.66, let's say you know that Americans are religious, but not as tied to official religion as they perhaps once were, you'd consult the one-tailed test on the left, which hypothesizes proportion is less than 0.66. Here again, the p-value is 0 0.000. Now, we can't be sure that the actual proportion of church members in the U.S. adult population is 0.55, as in our sample. But, assuming we're operating with a random sample, we can be 95% confident that the figure in the population is between 53.7 and 56.7, at least at the time of the survey. Now, let's go back to our dialog box and complicate the analysis just a bit. Let's say we want to assess whether or not more than two-thirds, or 0.66, of women aged 65 years and over are church members. We can leave our variable and proportion values the same, but we'll need to set the conditions on the sample. So let's go into the by if tab and set our parameters. We'll simply go to the restrict observation section and insert an if expression. Now I know I have an age variable, so I'll simply indicate that if age is greater than or equal to 65. That restricts our analysis to just those who are 65 years of age and older. But I also want to indicate that I just want this to run on women. So I'll need to insert and gender equals equals two based on the categorical variable I have for gender. Let's go ahead and hit submit. Here we can see that we're down to 452 respondents now. We have a mean or a proportion of 0.71 a Z statistic of 2.15. And if we go to a two-tailed test where the proportion is not equal to 0.66, we see a p-value of 0.03. Therefore, we can reject the null hypothesis and embrace the alternative hypothesis. If we had alternatively specified that the proportion for women aged 65 years and older would be greater than two-thirds, we would consult the one-tailed test on the right where the proportion is greater than 0.66. Again, here we see a p-value of 0 0.0157, half that of the two-tailed test. So we can reject the null hypothesis as well and embrace the alternative. 